Gear Patrol calls their new dive watch the best sub $500 dive watch. Full stop. Men's Health rated them as the most stylish solar watch in the game. Who are we talking about? It's movement. They're leveling up your gift giving with the sleekest watches you can buy and the biggest deals of the season. Shop 30 to 50% off Movement's innovative California clean watches, jewelry, and accessories with fast free shipping and returns now at MVMT.com. That's MVMT.com. Hey guys, welcome back to the Potted Together podcast. I'm Nicole and I'm joined by my wonderful co-hosts, Adam and Becky. Hello. Hello. Becky. <laughs> it cracks me up every time she calls you Becky. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, we are still in person in the great city of San Diego and uh, we're recording a podcast before we do a live recording. We're going to do a lot of talking today. Yeah. But anyway, today's episode is going to be all about fake plants. Do we love them? Do we hate them? Which side of the fence are you on? Mm. Mm-hmm. But first, <laughs> we need a little bit of a ketchup and mustard. I mean, admittedly so, it's one day since our last catch-up. Uno. Yeah, we don't have a ton to to say. But um, we, we did a photo shoot. We can talk about the photo shoot. Yeah, mm. we've done some things in San Diego. Yeah, we did. Photo shoot. Balboa Becca Park. Becca was in her element. I love seeing Becca in her element. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, very photogenic. It was the same Thank way you. when we recorded our first ever collab, when mine was more like a, not like an acting, but it kind of was. Like we yeah. set up shots for like the, the fake the nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. And you were like, I'm ready to go. Lights, <laughs> camera, action. Turn the camera on. Turn yeah. it on. Press play. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was, I was telling the photographer, I am a ham. I always have been. I love being in front of a camera and like doing skits and take, getting my photo taken. I used to be a little embarrassed about that, but. Did you? Yeah. Cause it's, it's like, Oh, I'm so conceited. I love myself. Oh, mm. you're embarrassed that you were a ham, not embarrassed to get your photo taken. No, 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 I've always loved it. But I, when I was actually a kid, my mom took me to an audition at a modeling agency. Mm. And it was one of those where they're like, will you pay us first? Uh, so it was my mom's like, no, we're not doing this. Yeah. Cause like, I, I'm not like a model, you know, mm -hmm. by stature, but mm -hmm. I think I could probably do like, face modeling or something. I, yeah. I don't know. But I really wanted to do acting when I was a kid. So that's kind of why we were getting into it. But it just never worked out. And it's it just, we never looked further into it because it just, like it, it was all very scammy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and also I don't, I'm glad I wasn't a child actor. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to do acting too. Yeah. Well, you did theater. I did theater. I, I never did... got into theater. Okay. Yeah. I loved it. I did it in grammar school and high school. And I took some acting classes in college, but... It was like, yeah, never really pursued it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But child acting is a whole other realm. Yeah. It's very, I mean, like ethically. Yeah. Ooh, how do you, how do, how do we do this as a society? Honey boo boo. Yeah. Honey boo boo. That wasn't even acting though. That was like pageants and oh, yeah. reality TV. Yeah. Pageants and reality TV, which yeah. is probably arguably worse. Yeah. <laughs> It. Probably. Yeah. It's, it's interesting because I've heard of stories of people like getting into acting like in their thirties mm -hmm. and they were super successful. So I'm like, well, I could maybe do it later. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, it was really fun. It was fun to see you guys in your element. We were oh like God. dancing. <laughs> it was singing. fun. Element, I, I feel so awkward, but it was really fun. Yeah. Well, like, she was great. You didn't seem awkward at all. Oh, it did not seem like you were awkward. Those pictures are probably Ako Taco. No, no, they're not. Some of them. There was a couple moments of where. Me, just me. When no. I was like doing the catwalk. Anyway, it's fine. There was a couple moments where like I saw, like you had the like nervous, like I feel awkward smile. Yeah. But like you're, I then like we would stop like giggling and yeah, you got some good photos in there. I know it. She was wonderful. She was, she was very great. Good yeah. yeah. MJ. Um, MJ Maiden Photography. MJ Maiden Photography. On Instagram. Check her yeah. out. She loves to travel and she's got good vibes. Yeah. yeah, very good vibes. She's in Riverside, yeah. California, but she came down to San Diego. Mm -hmm. For us. For us. It was for just us. great. Yeah. Yeah, she was great. I feel like we were talking about how friends are hard to pose. Like, how do you, mm -hmm. like, what do you, what prompts do you give them? Yeah. But yeah, we just did a lot of like 
model walks down the down like a little bridge thing, and we posed with this huge ficus. Oh my and gosh! Cool. I can't even believe how big that tree was. We sat yeah. on the we sat on the roots of the tree. Oh, it was that was a thick boy. <laughs> yes, it was, and none of us got a photo of it. But we're gonna have professional. No, photos. Yeah, we're gonna no, have we professional didn't. photos. That's the thing that we, we always forget about. Like when you're getting professional photos, you're like, oh, let's take scenery or mm-hmm. yeah, behind some the scenes. BTS. We, we got some good stuff. Yeah, we got some good behind the scenes, some fun dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When we started dancing, because when we we were doing our second round of like individual shots mm-hmm. and. I was like, we need music. Yeah, Becca pulled out her phone and was like, what song do you want to hear? Boom. She pulled yeah. out, oh, what was mine? Taylor Swift, Bejeweled. Bejeweled, yeah. yeah. I had Biggie. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and I got Madonna. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Vogue. Which I was, was like, perfect. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> oh, man. But Balboa Park. Yeah, that was location, Balboa Park. Yeah, and we, we chose it because it can, it had like a ton of different plants like the planty vibe was stronger than Mm -hmm. let's say going to like the beach or the cliffs yeah i feel like it fit our personalities better Mm -hmm. but the pictures online don't quite do it justice like this place was beautiful yes Yes, it It was was. the architecture the plants the weather was perfect the architecture was very it was like spanish architecture yeah very beautiful yeah. And the sunset was incredible. Like we picked a really good day. It, the sky lit up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like fire, like pink yeah. fire. Yes. What else did we do? We did the photo shoot. We went and ate at the taco shop. The taco shop was delicious. Recommendation per of recommend- MMJ. Yeah. yeah. And it was so good. I yes. mean, honestly, I'm kind of regretting not getting those fries. Oh, they were good. Yeah, I know. We could have shared them. Like we could have split Well, we did. Up. I did take quite a few bites yeah. of your fries. Mm-hmm. But they were like shrimp and steak and mm. just loaded with all the goods. Yeah. Oh, sloppy AF. It was, it was very sloppy. That looked like something that Daniel would have ordered. Like he always <laughs> orders stuff like that, just slop. Someone DM'd us just and slop. said, of course, <laughs> of course, Adam got the sloppiest one. I think yeah. it was Chris. Oh, man. From Illinois. Funny. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Adam, one, or not Adam, Daniel one time brought home like this like breakfast thing and it was literally like, shredded potatoes and a fried egg with like avocado. Like it just looked like slop, but it was like good, but it was mm. all like mixed together. And I was like, that Breakfast looks bowl. really gross, <laughs> <laughs> but it tasted super good. Oh, that's funny. The flavor is marriage. Um, flavors. this morning we went and got some matcha. Mm, yeah. Th- <laughs> at Holy Matcha. <laughs> yeah. It was a cute vibe. Three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I did return in a full cup. Two thirds of us loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you didn't finish yours either. I didn't because no, I was point that out. I was afraid I was going to get a stomach ache because yeah. even with oat milk or was it almond milk? Um, Whatever. They didn't have dairy milk at all. Yeah, but still, like I need to be careful what I drink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, oat milk will give you the shits because it's like it means oats. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> it, it has done that to me. <laughs> Let's just say uh, that happened when we get back. Okay. okay. Uh, I wonder why Nicole was be like, I'm going to go shower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to go take a shower really quick. I think I'm, yeah. That is a great way to cover it up. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what I, what do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> that's so, the MO. And secrets out. A rancid poo, oh. just shower time. Yeah. And it wasn't rancid. Okay. We're not going to talk about shit on the podcast. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is Patreon content. Okay. Then we went to then we went to Sephora because Becca had mentioned she wanted to try some things and then I was like, I want to try blush. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so <laughs> but okay. So <laughs> after so we, we went to the rare beauty section because of Selena Gomez. And I think rare beauty is just like I don't know. It's nice. Yeah, and it's, it's not like heavy. Yeah, and also the price point is not like a million dollars, like Charlotte Tilbury, for example. But well, <laughs> I did example. buy something from Charlotte. Tilbury. <laughs> you did, Charlie, Charlotte. Charlotte. I just no, I just oh, I'm laughing because I called her Charlie. No, <laughs> Charlie, not Charlie. only her Charlie. close friends call her Charlie. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. But from watching like TikTokers and stuff, I knew that like it was heavily pigmented, which is just yeah. a weird thing. But then, <laughs> so I already picked mine out because <laughs> Becca was working. With a Sephora girl. Mm-hmm. Yes, I was picking out a tinted moisturizer <laughs> thing, Yeah, which is a whole other, that's a funny story too, but. Yeah. Well, anyway, so Becca comes over to then pick out her, <laughs> <laughs> she comes over to pick out her blush or whatever, and I was just dabbing it on my hand and like blending it in, <laughs> and then I walked to another aisle that Nicole was in. <laughs> 
<laughs> Becca comes around the corner. She goes, guys, where are the makeup wipes? <laughs> look at her Where's hand. Where's the remover station? <laughs> I look at her hand and it's like orange, like the bright entire orange. Top of my hand, <laughs> like solid peach, like <laughs> like just painted. It was en- just painted. Literally the entire top of my like wrist to knuckles. <laughs> She's like, I was like oh, little shit. goes a long way. <laughs> a little goes a long way. <laughs> no, but I've seen girls put like dots that big on their face. Yeah, so I'm like, what the hell? How much product are they losing in their brushes? Yeah. If it like probably a lot. I was so shook and like. <laughs> I, they didn't have like pads. Is it still stained? No. No, because okay, I put contour good. over it. Okay. Um, okay. They they didn't have like the wipe away pads. They mm-hmm. just had like the eyeshadow brushes. So I used three eyeshadow brushes <laughs> to get it off of my skin. Oh, no. <laughs> they, they had tissues there that you could put the makeup remover on. I didn't see the tissues. Oh, it was at another station. <laughs> oh, it was at another station. I'm so sorry I don't go to Sephora. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I was looking for... A little for, goes a long way. <laughs> yeah, a little goes a long way. And well, then I came back and I did it a tiny dab on my other hand and that was still even too much. Yeah. yeah. So like, I just don't know how this would work out for me personally. Like, I'm yeah. going to have to like put a tiny yeah. dab. You're going to be one e-girl. Each. You're just going to be like full on just a red stripe across the face. Yeah, I'm going to look like I genuinely got a sunburn. Scar which I girl. think is the point. <laughs> Scar girl. Summer girl. Oh, man. Um, and then I got the little contour brush a uh, mm. wand contour stick. wand stick wand contour. or whatever i don't charlotte know tilbury. from charlotte tilbury and then i got the ilia foundation or something yeah. tinted skin tint skin tint yeah i don't know <laughs> the the woman that helped me has freckles too so i was like well you know i've heard this is low coverage so i was like looking for something that wouldn't look weird for my mm-hmm. freckles because if you have freckles wearing foundation just it sometimes looks weird you either need full coverage or like translucent yeah. powder or something, you know, something translucent, which is why I've just never messed with it. I was like, I'm not even going to wear it because it's just, it looks weird every time. Yeah. yeah. So we had a little chat about that and she helped me out. So that was nice of her. She yeah. matched your foundation like instantaneously. Yeah. Her first try. Mm-hmm. And you know, I think because I'm never going to go there again, I felt inclined or I felt more safe to just be like, listen, I don't know why people get this. Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> like, she was like, well, well, she was confused at why you even wanted it. Yeah. Because Which she's like, you have great skin. Yeah. yeah. She was, yeah. She was like, well, I don't want to be weird, but like, why do you want this? And I, literally I was just like, <laughs> Oh, I, I just girls on TikTok, Really? And she's like, <laughs> TikTok yeah. made me do it. Yeah. She's like, yeah, they do a lot on TikTok. I'm like, yeah, I'm just curious. Honestly, I'm just curious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, it, it did just like even out my skin. Sometimes I get like little red dots and stuff. Just, I don't know why, but you know, everyone has weird things about yeah. their skin. Yeah. So maybe on days where I like really get ready, I'll use it. But I think that I'm going to have that bottle for like a year. Yeah. Which is fine because it was like 50 bucks. Yeah. Wow. But also you'll probably have it a lot longer than a year, but you probably shouldn't use it after a year. Right. Oh, because that stuff expires, doesn't it? There's like a little number on it. It's usually like, like 12 s- and 24. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's where they get you. That's, That's where, where they I get you. you. Um, Nicole, did you grab anything? I did. I grabbed a Huda Beauty uh, eyebrow pencil. Okay. So I wanted to try that. And then I did like a lip gloss tint. Oh, okay. Like a subtle one. Yeah. Because I wanted a little color on my lips tonight. Oh, for our live episode. Yeah. For our recording. I don't think I'm going to do any eyeshadow today, though. I think I'm just going to keep it all natural. Mm. You know? Keep it cash. Keep it cash. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, Nice. Other than that, not much has happened. That was fun. I took a nap. You took a nap. I oh cooked couch. lunch. Oh, yes. oh yeah. Nicole has been cooking. <laughs> yes. Not really. Nicole made delicious chicken tacos mm-hmm. and parm potatoes and parmesan potatoes. Yeah. I woke up from my nap to her going, "Well, do you want lunch?" <laughs> I was just I'm like, "Yes, please." <laughs> yes, mom. <laughs> Mommy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Like my mom doesn't even do that. My mom is like not maternal like that. <laughs> Maybe more recently she's been more like that with when I visit. But no, growing up she was like, fend for yourself. There's cereal it's in the cabinet. It's in the fridge. Yeah. While you were napping, she looked at me and she goes, would you like a little taco while we wait for the potatoes? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I would. I love it. <laughs> and then Adam broke into some bread and he was using a kid fork because all of our dishes are dirty. Oh. Oh, the kid fork. Oh, it was a spicy fork. Let's just say someone's trying to poison children in yeah. this Airbnb. 
You know what it tastes like? It tasted like that stuff that you would put on your nails to stop you from biting your nails. Oh, the no bite. Yeah. Or that you would spray so pets wouldn't bite things in your house. Oh, the yeah. bitters. It was like the immediately when that touched your tongue, you it like stung from yeah. bitterness. I said alcohol or Lysol. Or yeah, hand sanitizer, which hand I sanitizer. feel like is probably. Yeah. I don't know why the, the thing tastes like that. It, they all did though. Yes. Yeah. Didn't they? Because yeah. you guys licked a clean one. <laughs> Well, yeah, it yeah. was one of those situations like where you're like, oh my God, that smells awful. Here, smell it. I was like, right. oh my gosh, this tastes so bad. Just lick it. Taste lick it. it. <laughs> yeah. So he grabbed us a clean one to lick. Uh, <laughs> I don't like the way it's going, but yeah, the fork, the baby fork. <laughs> <laughs> and it was confirmed. They all taste like that. Becca's like, you should just throw those away. <laughs> no, honestly. Cause like, I don't know if that can come out. Yeah. Well, and I would, like I told these two, like if someone is staying here and feeding their children who aren't able to fully communicate. Yeah. yeah. They can't vocalize. <laughs> they're shoving that thing in their mouth to, with food. It's like, what's wrong little Timmy? You don't like your cereal. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to eat it anyway. <laughs> Take another bite. Yeah. <laughs> One more bite. Gross. Were your parents, the types of parents that were like, you're not leaving the table till you eat all your food. Yes. I and I hear that's so toxic. I remember shoving an entire pile of lima beans in my mouth oh. and then being like, I'm going over to my friend's house. And I just kept them all in there oh, until like I got a hamster. out into the wall. Yeah, out How into they the not road. See it and then I just went, oh, oh my gosh! No. Yeah, that is a super toxic mentality. My parents did the same thing though. Yeah, it was it was a generational thing back yeah. then. I think totally. Um, Ooh, my I, mom kind of moved to like one more bite. Two yeah. more bites. And I've seen that on TikTok, how that's toxic too. Yeah. But um, we didn't really do that with our kids. We were just like, try it. Yeah. Like you have to try it. And mm-hmm. then if you don't like it, we're not going to force you to eat it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To this day too. Like just the other day, I think it was last week, I bought packets of salmon and tuna because mm-hmm. Mia loves salmon. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, maybe you could try tuna too, you know? So I opened up the salmon. I was like, just take a bite. And she's like, I'm that came out of a bag from the pantry. I'm not eating it. And I was like, just try it. And she took like the tiniest bite and she's like, it's disgusting. I oh my like, God. Okay. <laughs> then sure. you don't, whatever. You don't have to eat it. Oh man. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. yeah. I remember the movie Mommy Dearest. Have you guys ever seen Mommy Dearest? Uh, no. Yes. The no wire hangers. No wire ever. hangers. Where she Joan sprayed Crawford Joan story. Crawford. And it's a true story. Mm-hmm. She adopted these two kids, but she did not want them. I don't know why she even did it. I don't know. Publicity maybe. I don't know. But I distinctly remember this one where her little daughter, Christina was, she like made steaks and pea steak and peas and the girl didn't want to eat it. So she made her sit at the table until she finished it. And so basically it was like midnight and she let her go to bed. And then the next day she came down for For like breakfast breakfast, and her mom brought that plate back out. (gasps) And she didn't want to eat it because it was bloody. Like it was rare. rare She's like, it's good for you. You need to eat it. But the part that really gets me is in the bathroom with the baking soda. Oh, yeah. When she sprinkles it all over the bathroom and makes her clean it up. I mean, the wire hanger part is probably the... Yeah, it was just bad. Yikes. This sounds... I'm not going to watch this no, at all. This, it was horrible, abuse, horrible recommendation. It's a, yeah, <laughs> it's a classic movie, but I would expect nothing less from both of you. That, yeah. that you was want, from a, that audio of my Instagram where I um, have the glasses on. I'm like, don't. Fuck with me, fellas. This oh, ain't my first time at the rodeo. Because Joan Crawford was, she married some guy that was a head of Pepsi. And then she, he died. So then she became like pretty integral in like the management of Pepsi Cola. Mm-hmm. And that was her, like, that was in that movie where she was at a board meeting and they were trying to like edge her out. Yeah. I think I did a TikTok with that same audio. Did you? Yeah. Um, Good movie. Anyway, yeah. So we then we came back here. Oh no, we were back here eating lunch, yeah. licking forks, <laughs> and then we started watching this documentary about Sarah Lawrence. Sarah Lawrence, the the cult. Yeah, I, I'm gonna watch this when I get back home. Yeah, because I feel like we've missed giant chunks of it. Yeah, but I've heard about it and how. I mean, we've just seen some clips, and it, they're kind of hard to watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Here's a fun fact that you might not know. When you start posting on social media and eventually start making money off of that, you've kind of just started a small business. And with that comes two daunting things, taxes and accounting. And I don't know about you, but for a lot of people, these two words are synonymous with tears and nightmares. <laughs> and then Mod Ventures walks in. Mod Ventures works with business owners and entrepreneurs across the country to organize, predict, and create their financial futures through modern tax and accounting services. Mod might be a good fit if you're feeling frustrated and dissatisfied with your current accountant and financial processes. And you know, honestly, if you don't even have anything set up at all, which I definitely didn't when I started my business, Mod is amazing to help you set up. And not to stress you out, but it is tax season. So surely the stress is at an all time high. They have a completely virtual and streamlined tax system, which means that their engagement letters, tax organizers, and tax return deliveries are done online through a safe client portal system. They have proven results in clients whose lives and businesses have been transformed through the work that they do, mine included, literally from start to the current situation I'm in right now. So if you're interested in reducing your stress this tax season, look no further than Mod Ventures. You can find out more information about them in the show notes and also on their website, modventuresllc.com or their Instagram mod.ventures where they regularly post tips and advice for business owners. We were talking about fake plants in the car and like Becca was kind of looking up some. I did an I did a Instagram reel the other day at Michael's on some plants, but I was kind of making fun of the ones that looked like crap. Mm -hmm. But in all honesty, like some of them look Pretty deso. Mm -hmm. Deso. <laughs> deso. Deso. Yeah, I feel like fake plants have come a long way. I mean, also we were kind of inspired because this Airbnb has a bunch of fake plants. Yeah, yeah like that giant fig. Yeah, the the fiddle yeah. over there doesn't look that bad. Yeah, if you can see the underside of the leaves, then yeah, you, it's like not that good. Yeah, but it's pretty bright. Like everybody knows a fiddly fig will never look that good. Yeah. It needs some browning tips. Way too many leaves on it. Yeah. Right. It needs some. It needs some like. It needs to be a little bit more leggy. Yeah. Ooh, we should create a fake plant that has fake spider mites. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> boom. Boom. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, okay. So I got a fake plant from Target a few weeks ago. It was that Syndapsis Pictus. Mm -hmm. I put it on my Instagram. Yeah. And I genuinely was like, this is the most real looking fake plant I've ever seen I in my life. I didn't know it was fake till I like really looked and read it. The yeah. caption. Yeah. I bought one. I bought one and brought it home and now it's in my bathroom that doesn't have any windows in it. Mm -hmm. And it just looks so good. I yeah. love the way that it looks. I am going to put a macrame hanger in there because nice. it's just sitting on top of the toilet right now. Daniel said, this has got to go. And I said, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. I'll move it to five feet that way. Yeah. Fine. I'll put it in a hanger. <laughs> <laughs> so it hits your head while you're peeing. Oh, that, right over the toilet. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to clean that plastic plant because it's going to have poop particles all over it. Yeah. Oh. We'll see it right now. It's sitting just on top of the toilet. Yeah. Which in my mind, I'm like, this is kind of gross, actually. <laughs> it's definitely collecting poop particles. Lots. Okay, but Which really is why I don't read anybody's like books or anything that are in their bathrooms. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so ew. Really quick on this topic. Mia showed me a TikTok about like someone doing an experiment in a public bathroom, flushing a toilet. Because you know how like toilets in public bathrooms... Like, especially the ones that have multiple they're toilets. Forceful. They're very, like, you feel like you're going to get sucked right out of that toilet bowl. Like, you end up, like, planes. Yeah, but, like, <laughs> I'm not, I don't flush it while I'm sitting. No, 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 no. But oh, I'm just saying, like, I'm still. I'm not a good time. <laughs> well, what if you don't do a courtesy flush? Oh. See, sometimes. See, no, I don't do big business in public. I may oh, have, no, but at home even, courtesy flush. Nah. Yeah, I do courtesy flush at home. Which means my <laughs> butt is covered in poop particles. I've never had to, just for the record, I've never had to do a courtesy flush. That is strictly for my roommate. Oh. Mm. I guess he drops a big load. Oh. Stinky. <laughs> Guys, we've talked about poop quite a bit in this <laughs> oh, episode no. already. Trigger warning. <clears throat> we should have did that in the beginning. Anyway, but, but I think they're so forceful because they don't want to have... Clogged toilets. Yeah. Yeah, but it's literally splashing. So I went to use the bathroom at Target after she showed me that video. And yeah, I stood up, flushed the toilet and I'm watching the bowl and it's splashing on top of the toilet bowl. So now I'm wondering like, okay, when I go into a bathroom and I'm like, oh God, this fucking women can't pee. Like there's pee all over the toilet. And no, it's just splash back. It's splash yeah, back. Splash back. <laughs> Except when it's yellow. <laughs> well, then maybe you know. not. Maybe it's 
That was a very, very potent pee yeah. if the splash bag was true. yellow. True. Think about it. True, true, true. Uh, but so. So fake plants. So fake plants. <laughs> Don't don't put them on your toilet bowl. Synapses. So I will say that I have recently been in Target and I was like, they have come like <laughs> artificial. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is my problem with not finishing sentences. Artificial plants have come a long way. <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> Bad part to do a pause. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Artificial plants have really come a long way. Yeah, they have. They really have. Because I remember before I started purchasing real plants, I had, I was a fake plant girl. I had fake plants in my house. And I would just get them at like Marshalls, you know, and they were not like succulent fake plants. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel like the, the you would see people get like those fake plant baskets and put them on top of their cabinets. Yeah. It yes. was like really ugly, dead. Ivy. Uh, yeah, ivy. It would be like pothos or like grapevines. Oh, yeah, really yes. the fake grapevines. Oh, People yeah. would put like in like the Mediterranean yes. beige era. Oh gosh, in the two thousand probably two thousand eight was that era. Next to the oil jars with all the fruit, with all the stuff in them. The stuff yes. in them. Yeah. and the little chef guy holding your bottle of wine. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> like a rooster somewhere in the mix <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> the chef guy holding your. Wine. <laughs> My home post online. So. <laughs> Sorry, it's a very specific aesthetic. Yeah, it's like the yeah, like the Italian Mediterranean <laughs> that, and it just took over that the chokehold that that had. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'm thankful for live, laugh, love because I feel like it, it ushered out that era. But then again, like it's not a great replacement. Yeah, live, laugh, love is also. Are we still in live, laugh, love in some way? I don't know. I mean, I see them in stores all the time. This Airbnb is giving me a little bit live, laugh, love. Oh, yeah. For sure. Come as you are. For sure. Kind people are my kind of people. Yeah. Take the risk. We're reading signs on the walls. There's a gather over here. Oh, gather. Gather. There's a sign in the bathroom that says relax and renew. Oh. (laughs) In the um, half bath. So it's just a toilet. (laughs) Yeah. Relax and renew. So you relax. And you renew. I mean, you you have to relax for it to be healthy. (laughs) Me so and Mia. Right back to poop. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Mia went into at home and we were just, we did a TikTok just holding up signs and reading them. Oh my gosh. That, yes. was, that is hilarious. The, it was it, like, they're everywhere though. Like mm-hmm. I don't, yeah. I don't buy signs with statements no. anymore. No, but they're, they're in stores still. So people yeah. must be still buying them. People yeah. buy them. My, my mom single-handedly keeping them mm-hmm. in, in business. Those signs. My mom too. Yeah. Okay, so before the skin abscess, did you have any other fake plants? Yeah, well, I've made a f- I've made a few fake plants. Yeah, that's so, a whole other topic we could talk about too. Yeah, I have made like, and there I have tutorials on my channel, but like, I made a string of pearls with like felt balls. Mm-hmm. I made just like a little felt succulent, and then we have the crochet fake plants. Yes, mm-hmm. from Natalie, and then I have a paper at Insonia that I made. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With a tutorial from Corey Beth Makes, which if you follow my personal Patreon, Corey came on and did a class to make the philodendron Florida beauty. Oh, really? It was so fun. Yes. Yeah. And like um, a few people sent me photos of their Florida beauties and they look real. Like Do it they? legitimately looks like a real Florida beauty. That's so cool. Yeah. Nice. And those are so hard to find. So I was like, what plant can we make that would be kind of like, you know, hard to find, but we'd like the look of it. Mm-hmm. Maybe it'd be stressful to own it, but you can make it Florida Beauty. Yeah. yeah. By subscribing to my Patreon. Just kidding. <laughs> uh-huh. Link in the description. Yeah, yeah. No. But for real, I mean, Corey has a really great book on tutorials of that. And I want to make more because I just think they're really cool. It's just like a fun craft project in general. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you don't want to go out and buy fake plants, you can make some like super realistic uh, yeah. fake ones at home. But that's all I have for fake plants right now. But I found this website when I was like doing a little bit of research for this episode, it's by the company a floral mm-hmm. at afloral.com. And they have some like really realistic looking fake plants. Yeah, they did. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah. Like they had some marble queen photos that looked very real. I'm going to make an order and see like how realistic they are. Yeah. Cause I have lots of places I could put them do a video on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I think that, um, 
anytime I go into Target, I always go like straight to um, Hearth and Hand, Hand and Hearth. Mm. Her, I think, think Hearth and Hand. Hearth and Hand. Joanna and Chip Gaines. Because Adam was even saying this, like, I think that she started it all. Like, she started like the more realistic the looking ones. Yes. ones. And I don't know like exactly how true that is, but that's when I started noticing them more. Me too. So, and they're, they're fairly inexpensive. There are some Mm -hmm. that are not, I have a fake olive tree in my basement Yeah, from target. That was like 180 bucks, Mm -hmm. but it's very realistic looking. I love it so much. Yeah. Um, I was going to say that I feel like smaller leaved things like an olive tree Mm -hmm. look better as uh, artificial plants yes. than something like that fiddly fig or yeah. even I know that Ikea sells monsteras and now Albo monsteras is, is uh, it's fake bad. plants. But it's real bad. Yeah. I mean, even, and I know it's Ikea, but yeah. even the growth pattern of the plant is all wrong. Yeah. Right? Well, I feel like they're just using the wrong material to make it realistic because they're making it like a fabric it's not fabric. It's polyester, like plastic. But yeah, yeah. it's like woven into some sort of fabric looking thing. And like those plants are like shiny. They, ha- I feel like they need to make it out of like rubber or silicone. Like, yeah, probably rubber. Maybe rubber, yeah. To make it look realistic, like shiny rubber. Yeah. I think that would be the only way to make those look real because yeah. they have like a certain like lux factor to them mm-hmm. that just cannot be replicated with like flat paper or flat yeah. fabric polyester the ones that are k- kind of already made out of rubber w- would be the succulents but i'm finding yeah. like with string of pearls because some of them do look real mm-hmm. but some of them when they have like you could tell the mold seeped out so it has like little lines on all of them mm-hmm. oh yeah where you can like clearly see it i want to like shave it off you sand, know sand it down sand it down yeah i feel like succulents are easy to make look real when they're yeah. fake because like there's one over there i yeah, mean that, that looks pretty decent it looks like from here i if someone told me that was real i would 100 percent believe it yeah, yeah. especially I, being in california <laughs> yeah i would i would 100 percent believe it and when we went to armstrong yesterday mm-hmm. and we we're looking at the succulents and i'm like i've seen fake ones that look exactly like these yeah and they're not gonna die yeah 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 so like i guess when would you have when would you be okay with putting artificial plants in your house like you Becca, mm-hmm. dark your, bathroom. Your bathroom has no light. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely a place where I would do it. And I, you know, some people are like, oh, just put grow lights in there. But I'm like, no. It's a bathroom. Yeah. And grow light all the time on in my bathroom. Like, oh, no, thank you. So, yeah, bathroom, bedrooms, I think it's even okay. Yeah. Because, I mean, who, I don't know. There are people out there who like their bedroom to be really bright. I'm mm-hmm. not one of those people I've found. I yeah, thought that on I was. this trip, I'm, I found out I'm not one of those people. <laughs> yeah, because our bedroom very good. No, the when the sun comes up, it's like when yeah. the sky's yeah. awake, I'm awake. Yes, you know? exactly. My dark basement, though, like a basement, like if you live in a garden apartment, mm-hmm. you don't get a lot of natural light in a garden apartment. Um, so I feel like that would be a good option. Yeah, but also people that just maybe have very, very busy schedules, travel all the time, yeah. can't keep real house plants mm-hmm. or afford to have someone care for them for them. Yeah. Um, it's a good option because, you know, it brings a little green in the home. Right. Yeah. There's nothing, I think like fake plants existing is evidence that we as a society agree and understand that plants make a home feel better yeah like more homey more inviting Mm -hmm. uh yeah and so i feel like if you want that vibe but you know you can't take care of them right honestly and i've told people this before like i've had friends be like well i just can't keep plants alive no matter what i do but i love having them i'm like Mm -hmm. get some fake plants yeah that look real spend some money on it right because they're never gonna die so you can kind of drop some cash on like really good looking ones Mm -hmm. yeah and sprinkle in a few real ones here and there, but don't spend a lot of money on the real ones because they're right. probably going to die in six months. Yeah. And honestly, it like if we're talking about like moving, like when people move to a different house, when you have like big plants, yeah. Like if you have a big, you know, if you have a if you have a fake fiddly fig, it's probably easier to re-gift that to someone. Yeah. Because it, it you know it's better to re-gift obviously a fake plant than throwing it away because we don't want to you know, 
Right. We don't want to create more waste. Right. That's what I was trying to say. Um, but also like, would you even need to give it away? Cause you know, it's going to travel fine. Well, like it's going to look true. exactly the same in your new house. Yeah. That's true. It's not going to go into shock. It's yeah. not going to drop all its leaves. Yeah. Yeah. Or if it like, like, I, I guess if it didn't fit in your new space, yeah. right. It's probably easier to give someone a fake plant than it is a real plant because it's almost like you're not leaving them with like a burden per se. If yeah. they're not plant people. Expectations. Right. Yeah. yeah. So was there ever a time, Nicole, when you had just, just had fake plants? Yes. No real ones? Yes. And Before my donkey tail days. Did you feel like it made a difference in how your space felt and how you felt? Absolutely. Okay. Because it, I feel like, you know, when you walk into to a house where clearly they're not plant people, they have zero plants, zero greenery anywhere, no foliage, nothing. And it's all just like pictures on walls. It's very... It's almost like it's cold. And that's to say, yeah. if you're listening to this podcast, you, you're probably a plant person. But if you know somebody who's like that, there's nothing wrong with that. It's mm-hmm. just a different type of feeling. And it's, yeah. not, my, it's not my vibe. Right. You know? It, it feels just kind of sterile. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And some people like that. Some mm-hmm. people like very clean lines and yeah. all of that. But it just, plants bring like a certain amount of whimsy to a space mm-hmm. that they I don't really think do. they I don't have think a little, anything else. A little zhuzh. Yeah. Just like do a little something. I think we find that too in like businesses or, or like doctor's offices where mm-hmm. it is very sterile, very white, very totally. like clean lines. And then someone just adds a plant. It's almost more inviting. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. in some way now there are certain types, like there are some fake plants and I'm like, what are you doing? That is <laughs> absolutely a fake plant from like far away you can tell yeah mm-hmm. but that's why you said drop some cash because it's not gonna die yeah yeah get like, some nice ones yeah um because i've seen plenty of fake plants that are just like oof like that one right there there'll yeah. be pictures on our stories today yeah. guys <laughs> yeah that one's bad it's a baby fiddle it it's looks, a baby fiddle it doesn't look good not the right growth <laughs> path, but it does have a new leaf coming in. I mean, they have the, <laughs> the, that. There is some, there is some attempt there for yeah. a different color. Yeah. Um, but there are definitely like, like that A4, those plants looked real. Yeah. yeah. Don't they? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do an unboxing. I decided. Yeah. yeah That's I'm excited fun. to see it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause I have so many places where I can put them and I, I don't know. I feel like, especially in like, if you have kids, like their bedrooms, I mean, it'd be fun to have real plants in there, but like if they're young and you're closing the windows a lot for them, yeah, you know, you don't want them to eat it. That's something. Some plants are toxic. Yeah. And if you have kids and pets and pets chomp. Yeah. Yep. And I think that we have to also recognize that plants, like having plants in your home is not necessarily an inexpensive thing mm-hmm. because it takes money to care for them. It takes yeah. money to repot them and, you know, just, upkeep alone right inexpensive or passive yeah it's you you have to like actively choose to take care of them exactly so if if you're in a situation where like you just cannot afford to have some plants in your home Mm -hmm. buying a fake plant like literally you're buying the pot the fake soil and the plant all in one yeah (laughs) you know boom what are okay Ooh, i've got a question what are some things that people can do to make their fake plants look real Mm. Fucking dust them or undust them. Undust them. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah. Keep them clean. Actually, no. Because people <laughs> well, in have- my house, it'd be like, uh, <laughs> just leave them. Never yeah. touch them. People, people have dusty <laughs> plants. I have dusty plants, so I guess that was wrong. Clean your leaves. Yeah, Nicole's like, clean them. Clean your leaves. Miss um, flat mites. What about you? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd add a couple white uh, dots on my Hoya Compacta. <laughs> Call it a mealy. I don't know. A couple little cotton ball swabs. You'd call that farm Ooh. from that video we watched yesterday yes. and get some of those. Co- cochineal. Cochineal. Co- cochineal. Co- cochineal. Yeah, we watched a like mini documentary on cochineal. Yeah, yeah. cochineal bugs. Yeah, so it's that like white fuzzy stuff that grows on um, prickly pear mm-hmm. if you're from the Southwest. And very kin to mealy bugs. Yes. Very. Yeah. They're related. Aren't they related? Yeah. Yeah. I think they are. And you can grind them up and they make like a really potent, like magenta red dye. Mm-hmm. It's very beautiful. Which yeah. Is in foods as natural red dye number four. Yeah. yeah. They put this YouTube video on and I was like, what are we doing guys? We're <laughs> learning about <laughs> Nicole's, bugs. Nicole's like, I eat that yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first <laughs> thing they show is like a Yo Play strawberry yogurt. And I'm oh. like, great. Yeah. <laughs> but Starbucks then, used to use it and now they don't yeah. because they got pressure yes. from Under vegans. Pressure. Yeah. 
which is sad. Blah. But um, well, as I watched the documentary, <laughs> what? <laughs> Vegan suck. Like, that's not what we're saying. No, that's not what we're saying. Um, <sighs> as the documentary progressed, I was like, okay, you're not actually eating the bugs. No. They're, they're, they're like siphoning or cycling out the bug particles and just keeping the dye. But then I was like, yeah, but it comes from bugs. It's like in their little bellies. It's in their gut. Yeah. Yeah. Citric acid. Something. Citrinic. Whatever. Yeah. It's it's citronella. Oh, no, it's not. I was like, (laughs) citronella. (laughs) No, but it's actually very interesting if you guys want to like look into that. But I knew about it because I lived in Tucson and like uh, one of my friends has used that to dye stuff with Mm. like natural dyes with it. Yeah. Like clothing, it's very cool. Yeah, very very cool because it's a pest, and it's like, and in the end, it's going to kill the prickly pear. So you're you're helping the plant by removing the pest. Right. So it's like, to me, and I I understand like I understand vegans. I get it, but I'm not vegan. But it's like it's almost like getting thrips on your plants and then like collecting the thrips and using them for something very useful, and then people being like, "That's wrong. That's unethical. Yeah, you're being mean to the thrips. Yeah. Yeah." I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't come for us. I'm yeah. sorry. I feel like it's a hot take. That is. Please don't come for us. Oh, whoop. <laughs> I meant to do. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. It was, it was weird watching. It was kind of sad watching this because uh, there were indigenous and Mexican folks who were, who have been doing this for years. They have farms for cochineals. It's for, their to sole get this source stuff. of income. And they've been sh- shutting down because, uh, Animal rights activists are coming after them. And I'm yeah. like, it's an, it's an insect. Yeah, insects. It is an insect. And literally, they're giving that insect the best life that that insect could ever have. Yeah. Because they are building buildings for this <laughs> insect to live in yeah. on these paddles. They bring them from outside because they don't want them to get the rain. They don't want them to get the heat. They don't want them or to get the cold. Or eaten by something else. Or, yes. Yeah. And I'm like. Best conditions. Literally. Sign, I mean, if someone <laughs> gave me the option to live in a mansion and have everything done for me my whole life. Yeah, sign that's me hilarious. Up. Yeah. That's why I don't eat meat all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I showed on Tuesdays. So I was watching this video of this like Highland cow. I get like Highland cow, like Highland Scottish cows, like the really hairy ones. Oh, so cute. I get that content on my Instagram all the time because every time I see a video, I watch it and like interact with it because I want one someday. Yeah. They're so cute. So I was, you know, gawking at this very cute video. <laughs> I, I want these cows someday. Oh my, so they're cute. they're cute. I want like two so they can be friends. Um, anyway, so I showed it to Adam and he goes, oh, see, that's why I don't eat meat all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's why I don't cook meat. <laughs> Only on, when someone else cooks it for me yeah. on weekends. <laughs> 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 Like, yeah, because well, I as you, as you scarf down <laughs> steak covered French fries. <laughs> I know, and you made us avocado toast with prosciutto on it, but I don't know if that's beef or pig. It's prosciutto. Prosciutto. I is, thought it was. I thought it was a cow. It's ham. It's piggy. Oh, oh it okay. is. It is ham. You're right. It's very thin sliced ham. <laughs> I'm just eating all the meat. Chicken. And then you had a chicken taco like moments before. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was hilarious, though. Oh man, yeah, it was a cute cow. Do you have any yeah. fake plants? Adam? I don't, and I have never had fake plants ever. Ever have? Has your mom ever had any? Like no. Oh, okay. So like fake plants have never been a thing, but also like I never grew up with plants, so I never knew. I don't know. I never knew like the feeling that you would get, but when I actually got into real plants, mm-hmm, like it really mm-hmm. did change my space. Yeah. So now I'm thinking like if I was in a situation, maybe I was traveling a lot. Or maybe I didn't have the mental capacity to like continue to take care of plants. Mental, I don't want to say mental capacity. What I'm saying is like. Well, I think that's valid. Okay. Yeah. If I just didn't have the gumption, the gall to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because we did say it does take. Mm-hmm. You, you need oh, to yeah. have like mental energy to take care of them. You do. And it's also like it's you need more than just one. Because mm-hmm. like why are you going to buy an entire bag of soil for one plant you right. know like yeah. it's not like this this uh, hobby is geared to just one or two mm-hmm. right and see that's why i really think it's great when shops have repotting stations yeah i've seen that only twice in all the times that i've gone plant shopping i've seen it once yeah like if you go to a nursery i think that if you ask them to repot it they will 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've seen that. Mm-hmm. But like a self-serve repotting station where you can like buy bulk, you know, just like a bag, like a small bag, however much you want, like a pound or whatever. I think that should be more popular. <gasps> yeah. You know, I never really thought about it, but I always thought that that was like, if you're there buying a plant that day, but I'm sure that you could bring one of your plants that you've cared for. Surely. There and be like, I need to repot this. Mm. I imagine and yeah. you can do it and you can mess up their space. Yeah. yeah. Get, and then like a dog wash that's like out by a car wash. You exactly. Know? Yeah. And like the shop can make their own mix. Right. And they can, well, yeah, they can sell they, little bags of their mix. <laughs> right. Or they can stop Dale tanks. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> it's all about capitalism oh, in the end. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta support myself. No, but really, I mean, I think that'd be a great idea. Yeah. The places that I have shopped at that saw that they made their own mix. They weren't using some, some they weren't they weren't using like a Dela Tanks, you right. know, they're right. making their own. Right. Which I think is great. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so anyway, never fake plants. Yeah. But okay. I mean I well, I've never had them, but I would I'm not opposed to them now. When you go yeah. to the store, like do you look at the fake plants? Do they attract your attention? I look at them now because of how like I said, how well they've like because I think I saw a Raphidophora tetrasperma at mm-hmm. Target and I was mm-hmm. like, Oh yeah. yeah, like they're really and it was like on a trellis too. Yeah. Michael's had yeah. a variegated m- monstera, but it was m- like the leaves were too small to be like a delicio like a mature elbow. Yeah. But they're they're really trying like they're digging into the plant community for for some tips and tricks. Yeah, they they are they're following trends. Yeah. But, well, yeah. My question before I haven't seen a Hoya yet though. I feel like that would be easy. To yes, because it's literally called a wax plant. Yeah, even with a flower. For yeah. sure. Yeah, I think that'd be really easy. But okay, so what you can do? What I'm what I'm thinking of doing with that synapsis, and I'm gonna make I'm really gonna like pull some strings on TikTok. Remember how I said that I was going to do that? Mm-hmm. Like yes. I'm going to like repot it and yes. see, water just, it just be totally daily. serious. Yeah. <laughs> watering <laughs> schedule. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so here's my watering schedule for my plant. And I was thinking, Oh, well, let me see the tip first. Jesus, Becca, get it together. <laughs> so put real soil in the pot. Mm. Oh. Cause you know how it's like, it's like glued <laughs> sand. What if your fake plant gets fungus gnats? <laughs> But it won't because okay. the soil never gets wet. Okay. Oh, but if I'm wetting the soil and <laughs> yeah. pretending. Yeah. You know what you could do? You could do like lava stone. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So give it some sort of top dressing. Yes. yes. That's like Spanish aside moss. from. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I, yeah. So you don't see that like really ugly. That's a giveaway. Yeah. But like then if it did it get fungus snats, that would be a real. That would be hilarious. That would be a good decoy. I think it's super unlikely though because it would never get wet and they fungus gnats want like the wet environment well yeah. true but if you're watering it yeah but I'm if i'm gonna be watering my fake plant <laughs> as a joke um so yeah i think that would be a good one and like put it in the sometimes i find that the fake plants are in like really tiny pots and it just is it doesn't make any sense why the pot is so small yeah, yeah. like that fiddle Right. Well, we, I don't know if I, I can't see it, but I know the pot is like Tiny. a six inch pot. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, like and a, it's in a basket too on top of it. So I think that oh, the okay. owner of the Airbnb was like, this doesn't look realistic. Let me put it in a basket. Put it in a basket. Yeah. So that's a good idea. It is. Put the base in a basket. Um, but yeah, I think putting it in even a bigger pot and then putting soil around that yeah. to, would make it look so real. That's honestly. a good tip. That's yeah, a good tip. That is then, a good tip. Then people are going to be like, it's not real or it's in real soil. That You'd make people think. We got to keep them guessing. Yeah, well, totally. Literally, the first, the place we had breakfast at, the Fig and whatever. The Fig Cafe? Yeah. They had fake ferns and we thought they the were pine. real and yeah it was oh, like they were it was up a so question. high and we couldn't really see and they had and aerial roots aerial roots were coming out of them yeah very realistic yes i yeah. have seen some fake plants where they even like have like a dying branch so like one branch is like a brownish color so wow like, really yeah. that's really getting that see that's smart though that's realistic yeah mm-hmm. because realistically all of our plants are not going to look beautiful all the time yeah mm-hmm. so so true yeah i think yeah and i th- I think also like just putting them in things that real plants would have, like a trellis, mm-hmm. a macrame hanger, things like that. Yeah. Instead of just on top of a dark cabinet in your kitchen. Right. Which you yeah. can put them up there. But yeah, I think a tip I would do is I would like take like that little fiddly fig, like l- fake plants that have the long leaves where they look like super straight, maybe like crinkle them a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or like yeah. try to curl the leaves into a natural form of uh-huh. so or growth pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if you could use starch on them because they are made 
it's a fabric basically. Yeah. I wonder if you could use starch, like the collar starch. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Do you think that would do the trick? I don't know. Or maybe hairspray? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Curling iron? <laughs> <laughs> Curl up those edges. Yeah, go get a big calathea and start curling the <laughs> exactly. edges. Exactly. Yeah, and then if you use a curling iron, it'll burn, burn it. it. It'll be Ooh, just fine. Perfect. Yeah. It'll look exactly like a real Crusty calathea. And dusty. Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Break a branch off. Just have one hanging. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, but um, I think that your tips were really good. Like that yeah. is going to make it look more realistic by putting it in a different pot and yeah. adding some real top dress. Realistically, when do you think you're artificial plant video will be out to try to match it up mm, well how how many weeks ahead are we i think like maybe three. Oh, it sh- yeah i should be able to have it up by now okay yeah check out my video for a haul yeah. i haven't even ordered them yet <laughs> I, I don't know how long the shipping would take probably well, not, not long, long yeah you, you're, you're not shipping real plants yeah exactly see and i put five in my cart and it was only 80 dollars. really yeah and one of them was like 40 bucks Oh, so I feel like that's not that bad. And they had trailers. They had like upright structured ones, like the upright Dracaena. Mm-hmm. The Dracaenas looked very realistic. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And like, there was definitely some in there where I was like, eh, I can tell that's fake even from a picture. Yeah. But there were others, like there was a begonia. I was like, that looks real. Mm. Yeah. That I looks... kind of, I wish this, this was pushing back to like April 1st. So you could do an April fool's video where you're like house plan unboxing. And then like, Oh, that's oh, a good idea. Damn it. You can still take, you can still do it. <laughs> Check out Becca's channel April 1st. Yeah. <laughs> Podcast friends will know. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> yeah. No, but if I post the houseplant haul, the, then they're fake. I feel like that's not going to be. Yeah. That's a really good April Fool's joke. Should I wait? <laughs> Maybe. I think you should. I think I should. Yeah. That's really funny. Check out Becca's channel on April 1st. Heck yes. I don't know. <clears throat> what, what day does April 1st fall on? Because you're a. It's a Sunday. Because my birthday is a Saturday and my birthday is March 31st. Oh, she's planning. Yeah. You don't post on Sundays, though. I need, I need to remind you of this. Oh. Well, I don't think anybody would. I mean, you would post. Like, you would just. I would just go out of order that one day. She's <sighs> living on the edge. Gasp. I mean, okay. She's fucking with that algorithm. Well, s- yeah, yeah. You know, I think that's why my channel has been removed from the YouTube algorithm. Because Nicole <laughs> was telling me that she never sees my content. Adam never sees my content. Yeah. And they are loyal viewers. Your yeah. stuff comes up on mine. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's see, good to I'm know. I'm trying to think, does yours come up on mine? Yeah. Nicole's stuff is always up on mine. Whenever you post a video, I get it too. <laughs> oh, I get yours once right every, away. Once every three months. See, that's yeah. what's strange, <laughs> is that when you post a video, you're probably the first one. Well, to be honest... I am so attractive that the thumbnail people are like, yes. Uh, oh, that's why. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The algorithm definitely prefers whatever you've got going on. For sure. Yeah. And my YouTube knows I like hot gay men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's everybody has their kinks. Everybody, <laughs> you secrets know. out. Secrets out. <laughs> but what's weird is that you don't make a lot of videos. No. And not. Not putting Only you, throwing you under depre- the bus. <laughs> when my depression parts and I'm like, I'm going to do something today. Yeah. <laughs> Video time. So why are, why are you showing up right away? And Becca who posts twice a week. I know. Consistently. Religiously. It's <laughs> aggravating. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Becca needs to you know, Hoya content. Yeah. Um, I love the Hoya people. All them Hoya people. Hoya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Uh, no, I definitely. I do want to lean more into Hoya this year. Yeah. Not just for click content, but yeah, no, I do. That was a part of my like new year goals was to do more Hoya because they're, they're so low maintenance and like, I need more plants like that Mm -hmm. because aeroids are great, but they just need more. They do. And Mm -hmm. I have a, I just, I love aeroids so much. So, and like I, I found this woman's Instagram and I accidentally followed her on Potted Together and then <coughs> we had to unfollow her. So I'm sorry to, if that's you. <laughs> I had to find her page. Wait, did you guys know what the name was? Yeah, I am Diana something. Okay, good. It'll be in our history of follow unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> Potted Together, we just, we from the beginning, we're like, we're not going to follow anybody else because yeah. it gets, I, like, feelings could get hurt. And I just yeah, hate that. It's just I really not, don't like that. Yeah. yeah. So we, it, anytime we open up our feed, it's like the the most recent reel that one of us has made just on repeat. Because we narcissistically like only follow each other. <laughs> no, I'm just well, kidding. on the pot of together. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. That's just, it's lots. just less messy. Yeah. It's less messy. Less messy. Hmm. But um, wait, what, where were 
Where were you going with that? You were following. Oh, aeroids just take oh. more time. Mm. Yeah. Well, she has like the most beautiful anthurium. They were yeah. huge. Like anthurium is probably my my favorite like dream genus. Philodendron is my realistic favorite genus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But anthurium just capture a part of my heart that no other plant can. They're beautiful. The texture. They're oh. so freaking dreamy. Have yeah. you seen a fake anthurium? No. no, I think they have them at Michael's. I want to say they what? have like Clarinervium. The no, it looks like a Clarinervium. Maybe I put it in my oh, video. Really? I'll have to look after this. Well, I do have a very happy Clarinervium. So I'm looking for a big, like big, like dinner serving size, a <laughs> Chris Kardashian paper plates. <laughs> My serving platter size is huge, but it's not fake. It's real. Yeah, that that size of leaf. It is like double my head. You're what? They're magnifico? So yes. Yeah. It's huge. I hope mm. that it stays alive for you. I and know. Happy. That it has grown that one new leaf in my. Yeah. Wait, where did you get it from? Uh, unsolicited plant talks. Oh, April. She mm-hmm. is the kindest person, and literally, I was like, "Oh, I like that anthurium," and half, half the time, like I've told myself, I can't even go there and say I like something. Because she'll just give it to you. Yeah. And I don't like that because like, I want to support her. Right. But anyway, well, you see how I feel when you offer me free plants then. (laughs) Yeah. I want to buy it. She's a plant business. I don't care. And which, well, I mean, I can, I am now too, but yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) She's a plant business. I'm not a plant. Yes, you are. (laughs) That is one thing I will say about plant people is that they're genuinely usually very generous totally with their collection unless you're becca de la plains. yeah unless you're me i'm <laughs> sorry yeah Just no kidding. if i anytime someone comes into my house if i let them in my house i'm like here's some scissors no i don't say that but i'm literally like what do you want me to cut right do you want anything mm-hmm. i just wow i cannot I, honestly i think it's because my plants just don't grow that no, fast well and it's again hoya are so different than philodendron yeah, yeah. so it's it true. is like it is an opportunity to like be that kind of plant parent where you can share and you can start propagating and give, give away things. Yeah. And they're very easy to propagate. Yeah. And it's not going to change the entire structure of the plant, but yes, philodendron, it will change the structure of the plant yeah. and it mm-hmm. is infuriating. So don't ever feel guilty about that. Yeah. Mm, thank you. And I don't even know how to propagate anthurium. Oh, oh. I, they, it's like propagation by division. They put off babies, I think. Well, yeah, oh. I know that they put off pups. Um, because I've had that happen before and I just divided it and it ended up dying. But if it lived, that would have been good. Okay. But I think that you can just cut because it puts out those roots. Yeah. That but dig you, into the soil eventually. The leaves are so compact together. So you just have to like not have yeah. a couple leaves. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Probably have to peel away some leaves. I mean, I've never successfully propagated one. I am looking into it with my anthurium baluanum because the stem is getting so long mm-hmm. because it lost some leaves when it had spider mites last summer and it's just getting really tall Yeah, and I'm yeah. afraid it's going to topple over. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, should we wrap it up? Yeah. Like a present. We, um, this episode was so chill. I think we're all really tired. Yes. I yawned so many times and I'm like, shit, I have got to get it together before we do this live episode. Yeah. It's it's 3.30 already. It's okay. We're fine. Nicole. You have an hour. Okay. When have you ever spent more than an hour getting ready? Okay. We have to go to the store. Thanks so much, guys, for joining us in today's <laughs> <I> cannot. <laughs> Nicole all day has been like, oh, shit, we forgot paper cops. <laughs> like, we, we, had, we left... The matcha place and sat down in the car and and Adam and I are just like la 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 and Nicole goes oh shit it's like it, like it's as if somebody fell from space and slapped her in the face it was like me seeing the agave yesterday for the first yes. time oh, and Adam and I are like what what just like we forgot paper cups like in such distress and me and Adam were like okay like we'll just go get them oh. okay you're the best we love you I know. Um, and today Nicole she was like, is high strong. guys, it's noon already. Where has the time gone? I was like, we literally have no plans yeah. until tonight. We didn't. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Best. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for joining us in today's episode. Oh, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing if you guys like fake plants. If you do, head over to our Instagram and let us know in today's post if you have fake plants or if you've gifted them or if you grew up with them. Tag or if, us in some story posts. Tag us in some story posts. We'll, we'll show us your fake. Yeah. Ikea, they're actually called Fakea. F-E-I-J-K-A. Oh. Fake-a. 
Wow. wow. Weird, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, let us know. Show us. And then don't forget to follow us over on Instagram at Potted Together. So you can do that over there. And follow each of us individually at Becca De La Plants. No. De La Plants. <laughs> Just De La Plants. No Becca. At De La Plants on Instagram. <laughs> at Not Dude. K N O T on Instagram. And at My Clean Leaves. And then go give us a review. Five stars only. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> See you next time. Okay. Bye. 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 Gear Patrol calls their new dive watch the best sub $500 dive watch. Full stop. Men's Health rated them as the most stylish solar watch in the game. Who are we talking about? It's movement. They're leveling up your gift giving with the sleekest watches you can buy and the biggest deals of the season. Shop 30 to 50% off movement's innovative California clean watches, jewelry, and accessories with fast free shipping and returns now at MVMT.com. That's MVMT.com.